Have you ever wondered how we humans evolved from our primitive ancestors to become the most dominant species on Earth? It's a thought-provoking question that takes us on a journey through millions of years of history. It's about understanding where we came from, the challenges we faced, and the extraordinary adaptability that has defined our species. It's about unraveling the enigma of our own existence. So buckle up, join us on a journey through time as we explore the fascinating evolution of humans. Our journey begins millions of years ago when our ancestors were still tree dwellers. Imagine, if you will, a time when our ancestors were more at home in the leafy branches than on solid ground. They were part of a world teeming with life, a world that was constantly changing and evolving. The trees provided food, shelter, and a vantage point from where they could survey their surroundings for danger. But as the climate changed, so too did the landscape. The once dense forest began to recede, giving way to vast open grasslands. This change in habitat forced our ancestors to adapt in order to survive. One of the most significant adaptations was the transition from tree-dwelling primates to bipedal hominids. This didn't happen overnight, of course. It took millions of years of gradual changes, of trial and error, before our ancestors finally made the leap, or rather the step, onto two feet. The development of upright walking, or bipedalism, was a major turning point in our evolutionary history. It freed up our hands, allowing us to carry food and use tools. It also changed the way we perceive the world around us. Standing tall, we could see further, anticipate danger, and plan our moves accordingly. But bipedalism was more than just a physical adaptation, it was also a social one. Walking upright allowed for greater visibility, making it easier to communicate and form social bonds. It paved the way for more complex social structures, which would become a defining characteristic of our species. As we moved from the trees to the ground, we also began to develop other traits that would set us apart. Our brains started to grow larger, our tools became more sophisticated, and our communication skills improved. We were becoming more human. Walking upright was a game changer, but that was just the beginning. Our journey from tree dwellers to ground walkers was a long and arduous one, but it was also a journey of incredible transformation, a journey that shaped us into the beings we are today. So, let's continue to explore the fascinating story of our evolution. With the ability to walk upright, our ancestors' hands were free to evolve in other ways. This newfound freedom was the catalyst for an extraordinary evolutionary leap, the dawn of intelligence. Think about it. Hands free to manipulate the environment, to pick up a stone, and to fashion that stone into a tool. This was a game changer. The ability to use tools set our ancestors apart from other species, giving them a distinct advantage in the struggle for survival. But tool use wasn't just a physical development. It required a level of cognitive ability that was quite frankly, mind-blowing, and it didn't stop there. With each generation, the human brain continued to evolve, growing in size and complexity. Archaeological evidence suggests that around two million years ago, our ancestors' brains started to expand rapidly. This period is often referred to as the cognitive revolution. And what a revolution it was. Imagine the first time a human realized they could communicate an idea, a thought or a feeling to another human. Language, another key evolutionary step, was born. We can't pinpoint exactly when this happened, but we know it was a profound shift that supercharged our ancestors' survival and growth. Language allowed our ancestors to share knowledge, to learn from each other's experiences, and to work together in ways that were previously unimaginable. It enabled them to plan, to strategize, and to dream. It allowed them to ask the big questions about life, the universe, and everything in it. But let's not forget the role of curiosity in all of this. It was curiosity that drove our ancestors to explore, to innovate, to learn. It was curiosity that led them to look at a piece of flint and see a tool, to hear a sound and see a word. It was curiosity that fueled the fire of intelligence. So there we have it, the dawn of intelligence. A fascinating journey from the first use of tools to the birth of language, a journey driven by the power of the human brain and the unquenchable thirst for knowledge. With a bigger brain and the ability to use tools, our ancestors were ready to take over the world. Approximately 300,000 years ago, a new species emerged on the African continent, Homo sapiens. Now these weren't your run-of-the-mill, everyday kind of creatures. No, Homo sapiens were a cut above the rest, standing at the top of the food chain in the evolutionary hierarchy. At first glance, 
Homo sapiens may not seem too different from their predecessors. They walked on two legs, had opposable thumbs, and like their ancestors, they too had a fondness for knocking rocks together. But the difference lay in their minds, in their ability to think, to problem solve, and to innovate. These early humans were crafting tools, not just for survival, but for a quality of life. They were making sharp points for hunting, scrapers for cleaning animal hides, and even crafting needles out of bone to sew clothing. They were the original DIY enthusiasts, long before the concept of YouTube tutorials. But Homo sapiens weren't just about tool making. Oh no, they were also culture vultures, creating art, music, and developing complex forms of communication. They painted on cave walls, played on bone flutes, and danced around fires. They told stories, passed down knowledge, and began to question the world around them. And then, they started to travel, spreading out from Africa to populate the world. They crossed deserts, scaled mountains, and navigated oceans. No terrain was too harsh, no climate too extreme. They adapted, they learnt, they survived. From the frozen plains of Siberia to the sun-drenched beaches of Australia, Homo sapiens left their footprints across the globe. They encountered other human species along the way, like the Neanderthals in Europe and the Denisovans in Asia. But at the end of the day, it was Homo sapiens who would write the history books. Homo sapiens were not just survivors, they were conquerors, spreading to every corner of the globe. They were the architects of the world we live in today, the creators of culture, the pioneers of technology. And their story, our story, is a testament to the power of human resilience, creativity, and the unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Our journey through human evolution doesn't end here. It continues into the future. As we stand on the precipice of tomorrow, we can't help but wonder, what does the future hold for human evolution? Well, hold on to your hats because it's about to get fascinatingly speculative. First off, let's talk genetic engineering. We're already starting to unlock the secrets of our DNA, and as our understanding deepens, we may well be able to manipulate our genetic code to eliminate diseases, enhance our physical capabilities, or even extend our lifespan. Imagine a future where genetic disorders are a thing of the past, where our bodies are resistant to diseases, and where we age gracefully, living well beyond a hundred years. It's mind-boggling stuff, isn't it? Next, let's delve into the realm of artificial intelligence. As we develop smarter and more sophisticated AI, we might see humans and machines merging in ways we can't even imagine yet. We could be looking at a future where our minds are augmented by AI, boosting our cognitive abilities and enabling us to process information at lightning speeds. And then there's the prospect of space colonization. As we venture further into the cosmos, we might need to adapt to new environments. Over time, these adaptations could lead to significant changes in our physiology. Perhaps we'll become a multi-planetary species, with different branches of humanity evolving on different worlds. But remember, these are just possibilities. The future is a vast, uncharted territory full of surprises. However, one thing is certain. Human evolution will continue in one form or another, driven by the twin engines of natural selection and technological advancement. We may not know exactly what the future holds, but we can be sure that our species will continue to adapt, innovate and evolve. The story of human evolution is still being written, and who knows what the future holds. So, how did we evolve from tree-dwelling primates to the dominant species on Earth? In a nutshell, we've journeyed from clinging onto branches to striding on two feet, from mere survival to technology-driven lives. Our intelligence dawned, blossomed, and we became Homo sapiens. But evolution didn't stop there. It continues to shape us, fueling our adaptability and ingenuity. The journey of human evolution is a testament to our adaptability and ingenuity. It's a story that continues to unfold, shaping our past, present and future. 